And the sorrow that you know will melt away. Yeah. Hi. Ciao. Ciao. Aviva, here you are. <laughs> we did it. Oh my goodness. We made it. You look stunning. You look beautiful, of course, as always. Thanks. Ah, thank you so much. I'm I'm in Mariah. I'm in Mariah in my like Mariah drunken era. <laughs> I see that for you. I also we're matching. Hello. I must have got the I memo, know. the blue memo. If this is not love, I don't know what it is. <laughs> is our thought. First of all, how are you? Come stay. How are you feeling? How how is I'm this whole doing, journey? For I'm you? doing fine. I'm doing fine. Hold on. Something is homophobic here. Does is it's not making me in in focus. Okay. I see okay. you. I see you. You look okay. good, I promise. Oh, thank you. I trust you. So how am yeah. how am I doing? I'm a little uh stressed. In the way that I'm so amazed by the love and support. And at the same time, I still haven't found my schedule. So so I'm trying to see where I can rest, where I can organize, where and still the time, like the time shifts and stuff are all, all over the place. But I'm I'm truly grateful and I think I am trying to see the best in things. And I'm so, so, that, the main point is I'm so grateful. Well, you're, you've been celebrated so much, Aura. Not not just for Queen of the Universe, but after Drag Race Italia as well, where people really, you know, fell in love with you and, and your art and your drag. Um, So, you know, I'd love to kind of look at that journey for you. And how would you say Drag Race Italia is different to Queen of the Universe? Is it a completely different show for you? Or are there quite some similarities? Uh, quite some similarities uh, with, Queen of the, with Queen of the Universe. I felt like the treatment from the main company, like World of Wonder, was like top tier. Not, I, I'm not saying that, that Drag Race Italia was not, but it was uh, still, something was still familiar, even though I was new in the, in the uh, like in front of the cameras. And I, I was still new, but like something from Drag Race Italia reminded me of like uh, my home, uh, the inside jokes that I had with friends and stuff. And in Queen of the Universe, you see like the spectacular machine that is also behind the original Drag Race. So you you are in touch with those producers, those who are like behind the history of Drag Race. So it's like amazing. It is amazing. And you, you can tell that when you're watching the show as a viewer like me, like it's just like spectacular, as was Drag Race Italia. But, you know, correct me if, if I'm wrong, but congratulations on being the first Italian queen on Queen of the Universe. You're representing your country. What a beautiful yeah. thing. How does that I, feel for you? It feels sometimes, and Michelle said that to me, um, you have something that is called like imposter syndrome. So when you 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 want to get to a place and where you're there, you start to think that you don't deserve it. So I'm like in that state because I'm thinking, okay, I'm new. Somebody could have done it maybe with some more experience than me. So why me? Do I really? But then I see the love even from veteran queens and from experienced ones. And I'm I'm just, yeah, I'm, it, it, it makes you feel, it makes me feel a electrified sometimes anxious because it's a big res responsibility because they do not see it, it as like uh first italian on queen of the universe they see it like the first in uh italian queen becoming international so it's like a big 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 weight on on, on my shoulders but the thing is like the the thing that i say to everybody is like it's not something for me like this one is like just an example for how determined and skilled queens can be like it, it, italian queen can be i, I can be 10 percent of the next italian queen that that, that that will come it does not make me the ultimate star it's just it's an example of our beauty 
Oh, Aaron, you don't be humble. You're the ultimate star. Let me tell you, <laughs> you are, you are one of them at least. You definitely are. And you've really made a name for yourself. And I love that you mentioned Michelle there because as a viewer yeah. of Queen of the Universe, I've been watching this season, obviously very closely. And I've really seen that Michelle has like a twinkle in her eye when she looks at you and she seems to really warm to you. And I feel like Michelle yeah. has a connection to you. And it's I do like... believe, I know she loves Italy. So I feel like she has a, a love for you in particular. I think she has love for Italy in general. And I don't know, I see so much of myself in her. And not like, of course, not career wise, but I just see her. I just see her. I just feel her. I just see at her eyes and I can tell we have a similar way of like absorbing things. I don't know. It's just you, you can tell when you click with other people like, in, in the sense that you you understand how they understand things. I yeah. see that. So I feel you. like, yeah, I feel like we we were like absorbing each other in a way. Of course, there's a wall. There's like, I'm a contestant. She's a, a superstar, but yeah. Oh, you're a superstar too, Aura. Like I said, you really are. But Thank course, you. We, you. You are too course. nice. I'm honest but we wow. we know the judges we love the judges and you know we touched on Michelle she is a superstar but we've got four judges uh one new this year with Mel B so I want to do a little yeah. game with you let's let's see how you feel about this game so yes. of course we've got Trixie Mattel superstar Michelle Visage Mel B and Vanessa Williams so I know are you aware of the game kiss marry or kill we're going to do pass because we don't oh, we are going to go, oh, okay. But, we are we, we are going to do it, kid. Okay, 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 okay. This is clean. We're gonna okay. do a nice one. We're gonna. I've got yes. a new one for you because there's four. So I, I've no, introduced no, no. Yeah. a new category. So, so we've got it's kiss, like kiss, marry, kiss, marry, kill, and pass. Well, oh, we're not doing any killing. I've got. I've removed killing. <laughs> we're gonna okay, be. Okay, so we're kiss, be marry, kiss, marry, so kiss, marry, pass, or a duo with one of them. So who do you want to sing with? Who would you love to do a duet with? So we've got Kiss, oh, Marry, wow. Pass, Duet. That's that's for you. Oh my goodness, that's that's hard. Okay, Duet. <laughs> so I like Vanessa's that's voice hard. because it's very stable and very clear. Same yes. thing with, with, with Michelle. She has a very healthy and like a good belting range, like perfect, so clear. Um, I like Mel B because she got she she got groove and, and I like Trixie because she she writes well and and she she sings sm smart so I'm gonna yeah. say I want to do a duet with with Vanessa nice because I'm imagining like something like endless love kind of thing and oh, yes. yeah I'm I'm gonna kiss Michelle all the way I do not want to pass nobody. Oh my goodness, I love everybody. What's the other one? Mary. Oh, Mary. I'm gonna marry Trixie. Mary Trixie, because because I feel like we could have like the same business mind at some point. Oh, so yes, we would work really, really well together. And Mel B, I think I would just smoke. Can I see smoke? Smoke with her. You can smoke. Let's forget Let's past. You can bake, smoke with bake. her. I don't really smoke. I, I I stopped smoking months and months ago. So yeah, I will uh, I, I will vape and chit chat with her and like talk bad about other people with her. Yeah, love that. Love gossip. You can do a gossip session yes. with Melby. I love that. <laughs> yeah. I you see that. You got me telling me gossip. It's not thirty words. <laughs> Perfetto, I love it, I love it I wish I could hear that conversation Now Aura, we know and we can see That there is some fierce competition This season, yes. including yourself yes. it, There really uh -huh. is so how, how has that been for you um, Compared to Drag Race Italia And also, what is it like behind the scenes That maybe some stuff we don't see is Can it get quite feisty with the competition Or is everyone quite friendly And really gets on with Everybody's each other Everybody's a family, we help each other We lend at each other's things um, we, we borrowed from, uh, everyone and you, you would have been there so bad. Like when me and, and Giselle were cracking each other's up, like seeing, like we, we have so many things in common as far as like mu musical taste, we could like, uh, pinpoint, uh, a performance of Whitney Houston and what ear and what dress and what ad-libs and what, uh, and what melisma and whatnot. 
but also we could like explore with so like like silly trashy stuff and like laugh like all day and as far as the competition was i was right after drag race uh italia like it looks like it's a here but but it was not so i cannot say exactly how much but it was still very little and i caught covid and uh i i i went to queen of the universe with like some i feel i felt a little restricted like i knew that like mentally and physically i was still processing drag race and still dealing with the after covid thing so it was a little scary it was scary like by default but the fact that i was really weakened by some things also because i was working so much so um uh, yeah um it was very intimidating wow i mean i'm so sorry you went through such a difficult time but I mean, to use an old term, I guess you're like the phoenix rising from the fire because look at you, you've done so well in this competition after going through that hard time. So it was all meant to be, to to be where you are now. And, you know, you're, you're still in the competition, you're doing so well, you're so much loved, Thank as you. I said. So, Alan, yeah. what would it mean and how, what, how would it feel for you to take home the crown and to win this competition? What would that be like? Take, take, take the crown for me, like, would mean just having even more fun learning. I'm, I'm not, uh, a crown doesn't define like the point where I am in my life. I know I still have a lot, a lot, a lot to learn. And this makes me even more excited. Like the fact that you can learn and you can learn things and, like be, be better. It's like, it what's excites me most, what excites me most of drag. So I, it, it would mean something like you want now step even further, bitch. And um yeah what was the other question i'm sorry i think i said just how would it feel what would it mean to you but i feel like you described it brilliantly you know it's a great yeah, attitude uh, it, 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 it would mean it, it would mean to me you're you're not better than everybody you're just more exposed so don't be silly and remain humble and learn like that, that that's it that's a beautiful message i really i Thank really you. think that is and you know i'm gonna get quite political here and I'm sure you'll agree with me with what I say but you are representing Italy in such a beautiful way with the powerful art form of drag and that's you can't get more queer than that and more powerful than that so of course within Italy I'm aware of the politics there when it comes to LGBTQ plus rights and of course there can be more rights for the community compared to other yeah. especially Western European countries I'm sure of course yes. you're aware of this more than anyone uh, how yes. does it feel to be spreading the message of love and queer celebration um, to the, your country, not just the world, because that must feel really important. Uh, it's not just important, it's, it gives me life. I'm, I'm known to be um, a person who struggled a lot with mental issues and I'm still struggling with anxiety and, and, and depression on a daily basis. So when I can give love to my community, it's like the moment, like aura is my antidepressant. I can choose to be happy even more when I when I'm this, when I'm in drag and when I see people people's eyes glowing and smiles and I just I just care about this so much because it charges me and it charges everybody else. Like it's just it just gives me life. I, I, I don't know how, how to explain it. Without aura and the political aspect of it, I would be in bed because I know I, I know myself and I and I I know that aura is saving me. So hopefully I'm I'm hoping it's saving someone else too. You absolutely are. I promise you are. You, that's the power of drag and what you're doing. Yeah. And not just yeah. not just um the performance as a whole, but also the, the singing aspect that you bring to your drag performance. That's so powerful in itself. Thank you. Um, and it's something Thank you. And, so and, and I think that they and, and I think people and fans should really understand that everybody has a bad moment like vocally and everything could go wrong at some point but the thing is it's like think about us like standing in line before like going on stage and talking to each other saying to each other like good luck my love you're you're, you're gonna smash it like the tenderness of drag it's something that is not spoken uh, uh, about we are helping each other so please be kind on uh, on the on the on the comment section we are just there to like stay to stay like healthier mentally 
absolutely it's the community like you said we should support each other if you're part exactly. of the community or not it's it's so important um but of course it goes without saying Aura, you have a beautiful beautiful singing voice um i know you're off to a gig tonight so i don't know what you might be doing tonight but i'd love to know what is your go-to favorite song to perform and would you even bless me with giving us a little bit of a, a little bit of a tune now as well to warm up of course of course it would be a pleasure so I think my one one of my go to uh, is like um, Hero from Mariah. Yeah, Hero. Ah, beautiful. Hero. Yeah, and because I I can really get into the character, and it goes like this. It's like it, it goes. There's a hero. If you look inside your heart. You don't have to be afraid of what you are. And there's an answer if you reach into your soul. And the sorrow that you know will melt away. Grazie, Mila. Grazie, grazie. That was beautiful. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for the help that you're giving me, like, making me speak. And it was so amazing and magical talking with you. Oh, grazie, Aura. I really appreciate it. And before I let you go, where are you off to tonight? What's the gig? What, what are you looking forward to tonight? I'm with another amazing, amazing, amazing queen. It's, it's a finalist from, Ru uh, from, from RuPaul's Drag Race Italia Season 1. Her name is Farida Kant. And she oh, is... Hey. Yes, and she's she's getting ready. And she's everything that you can dream ab ab about a queen that 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 can be. It's like she everything you see on her is hers. Uh, it's her production. Everything is thought out. She's a genius. So we we're going to to this gig like to a bar and like entertain people and give like numbers and live numbers. And it's gonna be so fun because it's Pride Month. Hello. Exactly. It's what a better time for it. Happy Pride Month, by the way. And thank you so much. It was thank honestly you so a pleasure much. talking to Yara. I'm sorry. I have to say it. I have to run away because it's the fourth time I, I've closed the call. And I think it's the owner of the bar. So we, oh. we are going to pretend I didn't listen to, to the phone. Okay. Okay. I'll let you go. you got to go. Good luck with the gig and have an amazing thank time. Thank you so much. Good luck with, with your show. I truly wish you the best. Grazie. I really appreciate it. We'll catch up soon. Good luck. We'll yes, talk of soon. course. Have a great night. Bye, Bye, Grazie. Ciao, Bye. ciao.